I put up my phone live. Are we live? Are we live? I think hello, so. hello. I know, I know um, yes. Curtis was waiting for us to come on. Hi, good afternoon. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. How's everybody doing today? Thank you for tuning in. This is episode 15. I'm Sabi Gutierrez. I'm Digna. And we are the Social Soda. Soda. So, guys, we have a very fun episode for you guys today. We are cooking a Valentine's Day meal for you guys and dessert. But first, before we get started, let's say thank you to our sponsor, Roby Chop of Geneva Financial, for all your mortgage needs. Please reach out to him. His information is in our description box. And if you guys like us, share us, like our stuff, follow us on. Even if you don't like us, go ahead and like <laughs> us and share and, you know, all of the above. <laughs> We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter and LinkedIn, uh, The Social Soda. So... You know, follow us, see what we're up to, and what are you up to this weekend? You well, what are oh, we up to? Oh, what's Thursday? I know. Throwback Throw Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Tell me about yours. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. That little that, teddy bear. That actually was a Valentine's Day picture from like a million years I ago. I had bangs and no braces. I like your teeth, though. <laughs> I was like, I, her, your smile was awesome. Yeah. I'm sure it's going to be incredible. I hope so. It's, it's painful. Yeah. So I love that. Your, your braces, your braces yes, match your dress. I know. You know what? I know. I, I wanted to be uh, like in theme for the Valentine's theme. Day. So I got pink nails, pink rubber bands, all pink. See, I even dressed up for you guys. So cute. I, I have pink <laughs> lipstick. That was about it. So tell me about your throwback picture. Okay. So because we are doing the rodeo run, uh -huh. my girlfriend, Diana, Diana, if you're out there, I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to tag you. Oh, I don't think she, I don't think you have Facebook, but anyways, so Diana and Sarah, we ran a half marathon. We did the rock and roll, um, a few years back. So we used to be like huge runners. So we would always do like all of these half marathons and these crazy marathons. So anyway, so it just kind of reminded me of that and uh -huh. she posted it. So I figured I would share it with you guys. Oh, so, I knew it. Yeah. It was a cool picture. I remember you were telling us. And now that we're getting back into running, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah. I saw you did five miles. Very good for you. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It was hard, but it was fun. Yeah. Now, ladies, while ladies looking fabulous, happy about it, say hi, Biani. We got to say thank uh, hi yeah. to a few of our friends and viewers. Anna's joined in. And hey, Anna. Hi, Veronica. She's, oh, thank you. Hi, Laura. <laughs> Who's like, right over there. <laughs> And then uh, Curtis says, about time. Sorry, guys. We Sorry, kept Curtis. Waiting. You know, behind the scenes stuff with cooking, you know, it doesn't always uh, go as planned. So we were just. We were literally waiting for the water to boil. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> literally. So yeah, that is true. We have some exciting news. We got some really cool stuff going on this weekend. Mm -hmm. We are actually shooting a promo for the Red Production. Yes, yes. Um, it is going to be amazing. We are collaborating with Bob Boy. And Bobby. Yeah. Guys. With, um, you know, it's a foundation. Well, it's, it's bringing awareness to AIDS and HIV. And hopefully we can get zero transmission in this coming up year mm -hmm. and we just really want to educate people about AIDS yes. um, so but yeah we are we're really excited, excited. yeah so. and that's coming up this Saturday and it's with um we're collaborating with Bobby and boy and there's other people that are involved as well once we get more information then we'll be, be posting that for you guys to look at so keep an eye out on yeah, that I'm so excited. yes yes so since it is Valentine's Day and it's probably going to be crazy out there, it is going to be crazy out there. We know that you guys might have your boo or you have your Galentine. So, or, you know, your family is your Valentine. It is a good way to just whip up a quick little Valentine's Day dinner in no time and make it look beautiful and make it look like a million bucks. Yeah. And I don't think the guys, uh, you guys can see, but we got little things set up over here. I wish I could like move the camera so you guys could see what cute things we got going on over here. Let's see. Look guys, we got strawberries and chocolate and then we got some got vodka. some rosé. <laughs> yeah. So, oh. well, oh, 
Oops, did I do it wrong? Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm thinking I should probably sit on that side because of my one shoulder. <laughs> no, it looks good, girl. Show off that clavicle. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so what? Do we get started? I think we should. Oh, do we want to do little quick events? Yeah. What's going on? Absolutely. Okay, guys. You know, it's getting warmer and we love crawfish and they have this uh, event called Kink Crawfish and it's on the 16th, which is Saturday. And it's from 3 to 10 at Emancipation Park. And um, so go get your crawfish on. And also, there's one other event that I was looking at. It's a film festival. And it's in I the woodlands. That. So I will post the links below. Uh, we didn't want to get, I guess, too Yeah, because we have, we have a lot going on. So, mm -hmm. And then I have just two. Um, there is a networking event for all of you small business owners or large business owners or just people that like to do um, networking um, every Thursday at Morton Steakhouse at, in the Galleria. Yeah. They do uh, 1130 to 1, I believe. Tickets, if I'm not mistaken, are $30. So it is a paid event, but it's like you can... You can just meet really like-minded people. Mm -hmm. um, great way to get your lunch in and just just network. So, yeah, absolutely. and then the next one, the last one, this will be my last one. is going to be the Women's Expo. It's the Houston Women Entrepreneur Expo. So it's a beauty, fashion, entrepreneurship, all of it. So it's going to be a nice. lot of like-minded women. Um, just in the industry, movers and shakers, and that's going to be the 16th. So look, yeah, so look it up, okay, and show up. Just it, it could be something really exciting and just meeting, yeah, movers and shakers of Houston. Absolutely. So, so yep. Yeah. So without further ado, we what are, are you cooking for us? Okay. I think it's called shrimp scampi. <laughs> I, I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I just cook a lot. So I just kind of whip stuff up. Sometimes, you know, you run out of stuff and sometimes you have those staple items in, in, in your cab in uh -huh. your cupboards and whatnot. I cook this for the boys. They always like it. I've cooked it for my family. It, it's simple. It doesn't take that many mm -hmm. ingredients. One of the things about Italian food is very minimal items. And it's always like very, very flavorful. So it's all about like the seasoning and using the, using the fresh mm -hmm. ingredients. And um, yeah, we'll try to get this done in 30 minutes awesome. so that way you guys can recreate it. And if you guys want the recipe, um, we'll, we'll tag both of them. Wow, okay. yummy. And what are you making? This looks beautiful. <laughs> I am making chocolate covered strawberries infused with vodka. Do you see that guys? Vodka. I don't know if you guys know anything about <laughs> cooking, but anytime you see something like this, you're going to have an explosion of flavor. Okay. So anytime you see somebody whip this out, this means there's going to be an explosion of flavor. So yeah. super excited. Yeah. So to, you start first. Okay, guys. You got more work than me. Okay. So, all right, guys. Well, I don't know. Frank, do you might, you want to bring the, yeah, I'm just going to have to bring it closer. Make sure that we don't knock anything. Oh, but first. Oh, yes. I know. We came prepared, you guys. Safety first. And by safety, we no mean the garments. No outfits lost during this process, guys. <laughs> All right. Now I feel very in theme. Okay, guys. So. Wait, wait, wait. Don't forget. Oh, don't oh yes. Oh, we're do we're Hold on, guys. Here it goes, because I told him that you were going to be bringing hats and an apron, and he goes, he goes, is she getting you an extra large? And I was like, are you saying I'm fat? And he goes, for your head, Digna. <laughs> so, for your head. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. I do have a big head. Now, now we look like the real deal, guys. Okay, guys. Of course, we got to make it fashionable. Did we lose everyone? Actually, no, we gave people. <laughs> okay, guys. So head on over this way. So here are a few of the ingredients, guys. I just popped some linguine pasta just because I like the texture of it. I got this at HEB. Some sea salt. You can use kosher salt or sea salt. I prefer it. I don't really like just normal table salt because I like the texture of this. I have some Italian herbs, crushed red pepper for a burst of flavor, black pepper, again, from H-E-B because I love everything H-E-B and some oregano. We have some medium shrimp. Now, these, um, oh shoot, I 
about the wrong ones, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I got, so these were actually supposed to be. Um, Let's pretend they're the right ones. We're gonna pretend that these are the right ones. Anyways, I got the medium ones because I think that I don't like the big, big ones just because I don't like the texture of them. But mm -hmm. these are pretty much frozen. I like them frozen because if you with shrimp, it cooks really, really fast. So if you cook overcook it, it's gonna tend to be a little chewy. So that's why I like to do this. We have some butter, some lemon, some Parmesan cheese, some Reggiano, whatever. I like to keep a big old block of this. This will last you yeah. an eternity because that way you can just grate it, yeah. um, grate it as you as you need it. So we have so okay. So yeah. we have your water here, guys. So just a normal little pot of water. Um, enough to to fit your whole um, linguine little pouch, okay? You always want to add a little bit of olive oil, okay? And I prefer this one, guys. I just really enjoy the flavor of the California one. I don't know why. Okay. I like the texture of it. And then um, you want to add some salt, okay? A good amount of salt because that'll like also season up the, the pasta. Yeah. Now you want to make sure that it's nice and boiling. Um, now that I added a couple ingredients, it kind of went down, but all you do is throw it in there, let it kind of melt, and you want it to be kind of at a roaring boil because you want it to be doing that stuff so that yeah. way it's like moving it around and it's not like sticking. So, that's thought. Let me see if I can squish it in there. Squish it down because we don't want to break it. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. And while Digna's doing that, I am preparing some chocolate. I'm melting the chocolate for our strawberries. So, you know, chocolate is, it's, you know, it's got its little thing. So you got to melt it in a separate bowl or in with water. So that's what I'm doing. And I have some here. So we're going to be frosting, not frosting, covering the strawberries. And that's what this is what it looks like with once it's melted you see that guys and you just kind of smooth it out to make sure there's no lumps in there so I'm gonna take mine over to my table where I got my little stuff here and this is the fun part I'm gonna put some vodka in here let's make sure I can do this right you want me to hold it for you? Yeah. Okay. There you <laughs> go. There it goes. Ooh. Wow. And then we're going to inject them. Let me find a nice pretty one. Ooh. Okay. Like so. There we go. I think I should have let all that air out. Yeah. There you go. Sorry guys, we're live. <laughs> Everybody's running to my rescue to help me out here. You just a little bit. You don't want to get your partner drunk on strawberries, or maybe you do. Who knows? <laughs> Jordan said happy Valentine's <laughs> to you. Both are so cute, oh, so thank sweet. Thank you. Now, where did you get this recipe? YouTube. <laughs> You That's do. Usually where we get I everything. know, right? That's where we find everything. So let me make sure they're dry. Look how beautiful these look. Because you want to make sure they're dry so you can and then. Then you just kind of, you can't see it. Can you bring it down just a little bit lower? And then you just dip them. And they kind of come out like that. You can be fancy and put more designs like chocolate or peanuts. I don't really eat peanuts because of my braces. So I'm just going to do, just going to do chocolate. Yummy. Yum. Yeah. There we go. Oh, this has a lot of chocolate, guys.
Aside from the social soda, we're going to have the social soda cooks. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have another cho. Ahmed said master chef. And look how that pretty that looks, guys. Ooh, that's so Laura cute. says, oh, y'all look so cute. <laughs> Thank you. And a big shout out. I want to tell my brother, Oliver, and his husband, Randy, for allowing us to use his beautiful home to, to create this meal for you guys. Our kitchens are really little. So I know. The lighting is not the most ideal. But he has the most awesome lighting in here. He does, yeah. Uh, it's so light and airy in here. And these new lights that Frank got are incredible. <laughs> I love you, Her Frank. Her no, She no. doesn't have enough light. I always get washed out, so. Okay, so what are you doing now? I'm just dipping them in here. And then once I'm finished dipping them, we'll we refrigerate them. And then once you're nice and the chocolate uh, shell is nice and hard, then you can serve them and voila. Very nice. This is so easy. It is. It's it simple. Is so easy. And, and you it's know, delicious. People love strawberries and love chocolate. And, and have you noticed how much they are when you get them pre-made? Yes. They're so expensive right now. And you know what? Honestly, I think it's fun. You know what? I was going to say that because it's like this, you could leave kind of to the last minute and do it with your significant other. Mm -hmm. And I think that that would be really fun to do together. I agree. I love it. I think it's so much fun. I used to love to cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it may, maybe need to do a little bit runnier, but I mean, they're coming out so pretty, but I like them very chocolatey. I don't like a thin layer. I want a ton a of good chocolate. Balance. Yes. Yeah, because these are big guys. These are really big. Look at that. That looks awesome. Here we go. Wow. I'm gonna check on my pasta. It's here. almost it's almost coming along there. Alright. Wow, Digna's checking on her pasta. I'm gonna finish these strawberries. Now guys, pasta cooks really quickly, so I have three minutes left. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start on the shrimp situation over here. Oh wow. So you wanna kinda time it. Wow. Well, while she's almost doing that, I'm gonna finish this up. Because I want you guys to see what she's doing. I'm so excited. And voila, guys. Look, this is the finished product. Look at that. How beautiful so is pretty. that? And it didn't take me but maybe five minutes. So, and then I'm going to refrigerate them. I mean, when they have alcohol, you should probably refrigerate them overnight. But this is a this is a cooking episode, so we don't we don't have all night, guys. <laughs> we'll like we maybe have an hour. I want to see what Digna's doing over there. Okay, guys. So the pasta only takes about eight to nine minutes, maybe even less, to cook. So you don't want it to be too overly cooked. So we can now start with obviously a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Well, a lot of olive oil, actually, because this is going to act, and then I'm going to add a little bit more once I put the pasta in. So we're going to add that. We're going to add some butter, too. Okay. And it's Valentine's Day, so don't worry about your diet. So not too much, though. So we'll do that, and then we are going to do some garlic. I like a good amount of garlic, so I'm going to probably do one... Two. So this has to go really quickly because you don't want it to burn. Trying to let it do its thing. Yeah, we're saying move the balloons from the stove because they might blow up. Oh, okay. So we moved them. <laughs> oh, that's not. Guys, so you could smell that. That smells amazing. So once that's done, it's yeah. kind of nice and, and um, starting to do its thing. Go ahead and add the shrimp. And you're going to add all the rest of the ingredients like super, super fast. Some Italian seasoning. Okay. I like a lot of flavor, guys. So this is, this is my We love flavor. You keep yeah. on putting it on there. So Italian seasoning, fresh red pepper. Because okay. they like the spicy. Yeah. yeah. So I might add a little bit more, but that looks like it should be okay. Black pepper, because I just... I'm a pepper queen, man. I love black pepper. Okay, and these are going to cook really quickly, so you kind of want to move fast. This is going to be done here pretty soon. It's boiling pretty nice. Yeah. And that took forever to boil, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, it's probably going to be done faster than it, than it took to boil. Okay, so, and then... 
And then you have oregano. A little bit of oregano. Yummy. Okay. And then I like to create a little bit. I don't like to overdo it when it comes to the lemon zest, but I, we're going to do just a little bit. You can always add a little bit more and then just do the skin of a, just a little bit just to wake up the flavors. And that's about it. And I'm going to use this again for the, um, for the cheese. So just kind of move it around. It smells so good guys, like seriously. Guys, I, these are shell on, I'm so sorry. You guys are going to be feeling them. <laughs> Okay, that's all right. So let this do it there a little bitty thing. <laughs> you like my hair, aren't you? Okay, so the pasta is done. We'll let it do its thing for a second. This one's the oven. Yeah, this is the front. This is the back burner. So we're going to continue to let it cook. I'd rather it be undercooked than overcooked because once we add the pasta to it, we're going to let it continue to cook a little bit more. So okay. we just want these to turn a little bit more pink. If there's just a little bit of gray, that's okay. Yep, timer's going off everywhere. So, what is y'all's favorite dish to cook? Yeah, tell like us. What do you guys like to cook? Simple and easy. And you know what? I'm not a big, I do strain my pasta, but I like to actually just transfer it over sometimes because sometimes you want to use some of the pasta water. So I like to, it's messy, but I'm one of those kind of clean as you go type of person. Okay. All this yumminess. Brian says you're an excellent cook, ma'am. Aw. Aw. Hey, Brian. Hello, Brian. He's ex- ex-military he is a guy's guy okay guys so if you can see it's starting to turn kind of pink so this is kind of what we want to see um we don't want it to go too far but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the tongs okay and keeping it really closely i'm just going to go ahead let me make sure that the pasta yeah the pasta's good. i'm just going to go ahead and transfer it over please don't tell, tell your brother not to tell me i'll clean it up but we're just going to drop it in there yeah. Okay. And it's still a little wet and that's okay because some of the pasta water um, will help, will help, help the shrimp. Yeah. So this is usually I would do a bigger pot, but I never even thought of that. I would have just drained the spaghetti. The fish yeah. Noodles. And you can, you can totally. It's just that sometimes, you know, the pasta is not all the way cooked and you want it to really infuse all of those flavors. <gasps> I forgot my arugula. I forgot the arugula. Anyways, I'm sorry guys. There was one more thing that was supposed to go in there. I forgot the arugula. It's okay. It won't it be missed. It is my TV. So, <laughs> it won't be missed. So now what you do here, does he have anything for you? I will look. Let's see what my brother has. He's a, he's a health nut, so. Just toss it, bring down the fire. He has a spring mix. There's arugula in there. Mm, no, that's okay. So, watch me. I would try to take every little piece out for you. <laughs> okay. No. Yeah, I totally forgot. Okay. All right, guys. So, pretty much, let me. It smells so good. It's good. It's good. So, we're going to bring down the fire. Oh, the other side. I like to add a little bit of cheese right now, just to give it a little bit of a gloss. And like I said, keeping these guys, it's so much cheaper. I think I paid like $6 for this one. It has literally lasted me, I think I'm going on like a month and a half. So this is really great because when you get the ones that are already pre-shredded, they start to lose their flavor because they've kind of, they've been exposed to, you know, They've been exposed to like the elements and whatnot. So when you freshly grate it, oh, it's it gives it like a nice little kick. All right, guys. Don't want my heels in the background. So that is pretty much it. I'm gonna add just a tad bit more crushed red pepper because we're Hispanic. 
We have our spices. Chapa, you are going to be my mm. guinea pig. Yeah, it it's missing the arugula. Usually it has like some green in it. But, you know, it is live TV, so. She said try some spinach. Do you have spinach here? Let me check. I don't know if he does. We're going to check for you guys. See, there's some spinach. Because it looks so much prettier when there's green. You guys know, right? Turn this off. So guys, that literally took less time to cook from start to finish than it did to wait for the water to boil. No, he doesn't. No, that's okay, guys. You guys can just imagine a little bit of green. I'll post the picture on. <laughs> if it would have been my house, we would have had to spin it today. Yeah, sorry. We... Boy. And you know what? We can't forget one of the other main ingredients. Oh, does it go back up now? You gotta hold on to the bottle. And then what happens? You lift up? No. There you go. Wow. Oh, I hear the puppy in the background. I know, my brother's dog. All right, Mr. Chapa. <laughs> I, I, think, I think you should have left it on there, baby. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Grab oh, a little Lord. knife. Mm, mm. Lucky me. Oh, we want to get your reaction. Hold on. Let's see. Grab a little fork. Wow. Be careful. There's um, the, there's shrimp on the shell. Or there's shell on the shrimp. So. Man, I, I like it with the shell. You want to pair it with a <laughs> glass of wine. Wow. Guys, lucky me, huh? Ooh. Está caliente. It, it, I know. <laughs> you might want to. It pays off to be on this side of the camera. Wowzers. Mmm. 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 What do you think? Wow. Dale al hermano. No, no, she gets her whole plate. <laughs> wow. She should try one of the strawberries. This is, okay. Oh. Well, this we should is, set a weird. Oh, Lord. Mm. It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> I think I'm gonna sit down and so once the strawberries are the chocolate is hardened, then they'll look like this. Would you like to try one, sister? She wants pasta. Do you wanna try it? You wanna come on Let camera and try the strawberries? Go on. Who's still left? <laughs> <laughs> you want a glass? You want a glass of wine too with your strawberries? Here, have one. Try it. Oh, mm, good? Delicious. Awesome. Mm. Your pasta looks good. Mm. <laughs> it usually looks prettier because it has like. It is green. off the chain. So here we go. Put this on parchment. Guys, and when you do the strawberries, I forgot to put the parchment paper so that way they come off easily. I forgot that. I was running this morning. The Tito's is delicious. Oh, I forgot there was Tito's in there. <clears throat> so here you go. Yum. <laughs> so here you go. Oh, thank you. Let me, Let me move over so you can sit out. Mm. Yes. So good. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have any liquor. You're uh, no, not yet. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the final product. Um, it usually has some green stuff in there, and like I said, it's like super quick to make, and it takes no time. And so are Sabi's beautiful little strawberries that we were eating. But yeah, <laughs> so yeah. this concludes our little Valentine's Day episode. Oh, you know oh, so. Wow. Thank you guys so much. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know we did. I know. <laughs> we had a good time. We had such a good time. <laughs> so even though it didn't go 100% according to plan, but hey, it's our first time doing this. So we really appreciate you guys uh, just hanging out with us. So let's see who else signed on. You guys need to remove the blue. Oh, thank we you, did. Anna. Okay. <laughs> we did. I'm, I didn't even catch that. Thank you for telling us. Mama Anna. My brother's house. 
Y'all look really nice. Thank you, Raul. Try some spinach. Anna, it was on point today. She, yes, we we forgot a couple. Little That's things. okay. Next time, though, this is kind of fun. Oh, yeah. might doing it again. <laughs> Let's do a crawfish boil next time. <laughs> Is it too spicy? No, no, okay, I'm like, is it too spicy? Thank you guys for entertaining us. It was so much fun. Yes, and then we gotta finish it off with a glass of wine. Who want? Who else wants a glass of wine? Do you want a glass of wine, sister? Sure. Sorry. You guys, thank you so Cheers. much for tuning in. Cheers. Yes. Happy, Happy Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. We love you guys. We thank you, you guys. for tuning thank in. Thank you. My little hat. I don't. Wait. There we go. See, Eric, I didn't need a size extra large. <laughs> this is one size and it It was. was. It has the extender. <laughs> I'm like, see, I didn't need it. <laughs> so, anyways, well, guys. Again. Yes. We, thank you we'll, so much. Yeah. And tune in again next Thursday. The rest of the rodeo week. theme next yeah. Thursday. Rodeo so theme. we are so excited because, you know, Texas like goes on pause because it's all about rodeo for a couple weeks. And I um, want to wish you guys a happy Valentine's Day again. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you for entertaining us and yes. watching us. And don't forget to share, guys. Yes, <laughs> maybe, we'll share. Get, maybe we'll get um, a sponsorship from HEB, which is what I'm trying to go for over here. All right. HEB, if you're listening, yes. please. Holler out at your girls. <laughs> have a good one, guys. Bye. Guys. Bye.